How you doing guys? Uh, this new video is about the new uh, beta version of uh, Office for Mac 2016 uh, that Microsoft has released for download uh, on March 5th. I'm currently installing the software. Okay. And I hear and now we'll talk about some new features available. All right, here you have the two versions compared. On the right, that was, that's the older one. All right, so we can do the same for Excel here. And on the left, we have the new version, the, the 2016. On the right, it's the 2011. You'll see that the new versions are pretty much more colorful and they have different features. The menu is differently organized. For example, you can see there is more similar to the Windows version. So And a new interesting feature that was missing in Office for Mac is OneNote that was previously released as standalone free application as now and is now included in the new version of Office. Another thing I want to notice here is the integration of uh, Office 2016 with OneDrive. What I mean uh, now uh, you can save uh, an office file not only in your local folders like here but also in your OneDrive account. Uh, you have a series of OneDrive folder here where you can save your file. Now let's talk about Excel. Uh, you'll notice here uh, the different uh, settings for the two versions, the older on the left, the newer on the right. What I wanted to point out here is that they don't work uh, very differently anyway. The difference is pretty much aesthetical. Uh, here uh, we have the older version I'm including some values to perform a calculation and here I'm using the newer version um, throwing some random numbers here what I want to show you is the way uh, the functions work in the two cases now in the newer version here you'll notice a sidebar is displayed with all the features of the function you want to use and with examples and stuff like that. Uh, whereas in the older version this is not displayed at all. Uh, this is something that usually is displayed in a pop-up window. Alright, so uh, what I want to show you is the new uh, formula bar that's pretty different from the past, you'll see uh, when you select a function a sidebar appears while now uh, for all concerning word the difference between the two layouts uh, you'll see the newer version on the right is the presence of this uh, style pane that displays all the styles in a sidebar, whereas the older version displays it in the document elements menu, as you can see here on the right. Instead, the new version displays it in the sidebar. One downside of this new version is that Excel is 32 bit, as you can notice here. And PowerPoint doesn't display anymore the save as a movie feature. In fact, 
Now, if I show you the newer version, you'll see that the file menu um, doesn't have anymore a couple of features. One of them is uh, save as movie, like I said. As the word, uh, there are uh, also another couple of missing functionalities. One of them is the publishing layout. You'll notice the newer version on the left and the older one on the right. If now, uh, from the older one, the publishing layout uh, displays your document like a sort of a book. Uh, now if I click continue here, you'll notice a new layout appears and it looks pretty much like a sort of e uh, an ebook. Um, features that's completely missing in the new version. I don't know why. Uh, in fact, um, there are in the layout list is missing. Another one uh, is focus that um, displays the document in full screen. In the end, we can say that mm, the new Office 2016 beta for Mac uh, is a long-needed overhaul of uh, Office 2011 for Mac. Mm. It's pretty nicely done, but I don't think it's dramatically life-changing, nor that improves the overall user experience. Mm, I don't believe that applications natively conceived for a different operating system like Windows can work smoothly on the Mac the same way they work on Windows. And anyway, apart corporate consideration, I wouldn't spend money f for a product like that when there are free alternatives available. So, that's all I had to say. Thank you for following me and have a good one. Enjoy the rest of your day.